Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the extend command in Rhino. And basically the extend command is opposite of trim. So with trim, we had overextended lines that we wanted to delete. And with the extend command, um, we basically have lines that are not meeting the lines that it's supposed to. So we're going to use the command extend so that they touch each other and meet perfectly. So for example, if we had two lines that are not meeting each other and we wanted this horizontal line to meet the vertical line, can simply type in extend but one thing to note when you're using the extend command is if we want to so for instance it's saying select the boundary objects for the line to um, basically meet so if we want this horizontal line to meet the vertical line we're going to select the vertical line and we're going to right click and one thing to note that there is this sort of imaginary midpoint here that you want to select anywhere on the side of the line that is selected. And what I mean by that is, let's say you accidentally select um, on the opposite side of where you selected the line. Rhino is going to think that you're going to uh, manually uh, kind of drag this point to wherever you need to go. But let's say we wanted to actually meet this vertical point perfectly. So we're going to select the boundary line, we're going to right click, we're going to have to select somewhere on this side of the line for the horizontal line to meet the vertical line like so. And this goes for arcs as well. So for instance, let's say we drew an arc with the arc command and we wanted to complete the circle. Or if we did not want to complete the circle and we wanted to meet certain areas, let's just say this was a walkway and maybe that this was going to be a arced planting bed. We can use the command extend, and we're going to select the line that we want. We're going to select the lines that we want the arc to go to. We can simply select on either end. Now, with the arc command, you can also um, complete the arc into a complete circle by just typing in extend, selecting the arc, and then you can see that it um, you can manually complete the circle.